Connor, you must be absolutely delighted following that performance. Uh, yeah, uh, un- unbelievable feeling. Um, all the boys put in the shift once again. Clean sheet at home, three goals scored. There's no better feeling. You and you know your return to the the team. What a goal to mark that return as well. Yeah, no, I've been I've been itching to get my chance. Uh, to get back out on the pitch, and uh, I've got the rewards for the the hard work I've been putting in off the pitch, and just to top it off with a goal like that, uh, can't can't put it into words. And three goals scored again today. The team's got a real eye for goal at the moment. Uh yeah, every everyone's been putting it in uh on the training pitch, been finding the target, um, and it's been a long time coming. Just just hitting the back of the net con- consistently, um, and we're just finding our feet now. Strikers have just got their eye for goal. Uh, I mean, likes of Borley and Payne, they're untouchable at times. So, the chances we're creating, it's, it's sort of putting it on a plate for for everyone now. And you know, for yourself, you know, you came on halfway through the game um, after Lewis O'Brien got injured, um, and you came on into midfield as well. How difficult is it to you know try and make an impact when you're coming off the in you know those sort of circumstances as well in a position that you're perhaps not that familiar with? Uh, it it was made easy by the the players that got around me. Um, I think I've I played about ten minutes there. I think when we played Doncaster away earlier on in the season, um, and when you got experience like uh, Ant O'Connor, Borley around you, it makes it a lot easier. Um, and the the gaffer said to me, I sort of had the freedom just to get on, press them with intensity, um, and now I really enjoyed it. And is that also you know with the confidence of the side at the moment, you know, pushing themselves out of the relegation zone again today? Yeah, I mean we we had a a great run at the end of twenty eighteen and we've. We've just shown that we can uh, do the same this year uh, and push on and just keep climbing up that table. Uh, the confidence is sky high at the moment uh, throughout the camp and and we're raring to go again in our next game. And like you just touched on, you know, it's the start of a new year now. Hopefully start of, you know, continuing this turnaround that, that we've seen over the past month or so and allowing that to continue throughout the rest of the season. Uh, yeah, I mean, we we just got to keep going, keep doing doing the right things, doing what we've been doing. Um, and the results will keep coming for us if we, if we just keep our foot on it and and just don't ease up or, or anything like that, and and it should should show on the pitch. And you know, there's a bit of a break now until Barnsley. You know that must sort of be welcomed once the squad after such a hectic schedule of fixtures over the Christmas period. Yeah, I mean, there's been been uh games every few days the last last month or so, so it's a it's a nice rest for the boys that have been playing uh ninety minutes throughout that time um, it's well deserved as well but just got to make sure we come back uh, Barnsley game and just go again do the same and just a final touch you know uh, on the fans today over 16,000 again at the Northern Commercial Stadium how important were they in you know helping the team get this victory and also um, helping the team get the form that they have of late uh, the fans have been massive I uh, think we wouldn't have been able to been doing what we've been doing uh, without the fans they are the 12th man uh I've not seen a better set of fans in this league. Um, home and away, they're, they're always there, always out singing uh, the opposition, and it really helps on, on the pitch. It just carries you, carries you through them 90 minutes.